Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but I finally have an update on the 850 and the Warthog heavy duty axle. Before we get into it, I just want to mention again that I'm not affiliated with Warthog, nor did they sponsor this or any other of my videos. I'm just an average consumer who paid out of pocket. As you may have guessed from the thumbnail, Warthog did send me another axle. So here's how their heavy duty axle warranty works. The axle warranty covers defects in the materials and workmanship for one year, excluding the boots, but it does have some limitations. I'll put a link below to their warranty policy. So if it fails within 30 days of purchase, they'll send you one free of charge. After 30 days, but before 90, you charge $40 Canadian. Well, that's where I am in Canada. 30 bucks for US. And if it fails between 90 days and one year, it's $75 Canadian, which is 60 bucks US. So even though I was seven months over my one year period, that's where they put me, 75 bucks for a replacement. Now I'm not going to say they'll do that in every case. That's just what they did for me in my situation. So if you haven't watched it, go back to my last video for some context on why they may have done it like that. I'll put a link to that video below as well. Some of you probably noticed the 850 looks like it's exactly where it was the last time you seen it. And you're right, it is. And here's why. So while sitting here waiting for its axle, it became apparent the rear diff seal has failed as well. I know it looks like it's been leaking for a while, and it sort of has. It's been sitting here for a couple of weeks now, but I can say that it didn't look like that when I removed the broken axle. So, now I'm waiting for a seal kit. So there you have it. That's what's happened so far. I do have a couple of more mods to add soon, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on those. And hit that like button as well as it really helps the channel. So that's it. Until next time.